He has one of the most powerful forehands in tennis and holds the record for the fastest serve in the world. He started a foundation to help babies and kids when he was only 17, and it grew into a multi-million dollar charitable organization. His name is Andy Roddick, and his mother, Blanche, is the director of the Andy Roddick Foundation. Mrs. Roddick and Andy, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Tell us how the Andy Roddick Foundation idea started and what motivated you to get involved. The foundation was Andy's idea at 17 years old. And I told him it was a huge responsibility and I did, don't expect me to help because you have to learn what a responsibility it is. Three weeks later, I was involved and I'm still involved. So <laughs> that's how it started. <laughs> uh, she, she's selling herself short. Um, I kind of left the house and, and she's throwing herself into this and helping more children after she raised her own. So um, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a great process. And, you know, it was, it was my idea on the, on the advice of a guy named Andre Agassi, um, who, who's done some great work also. But, um, you know, they, they, she, she's been involved from day one. And the neat part for me is that I learned from my son what it was to give back. And that's a great experience for a parent. That sure is. Uh, tell us one of your favorite stories about one of the children or families who has benefited from the anti Roddick Foundation. We provide for safe haven for newborns. And these are the babies that you don't find in the dumpsters, that you don't find abandoned and killed and thrown down a toilet. Um, and every time that Nick Silverio sends a message over that the 113th baby has been saved. Everyone in the office just stands up and we start whooping and hollering because we know we're a part of that. And we've met some of these children now. Last year we brought one in, a four-year-old girl named Gloria Hope. Um, and it's just, it's just gratifying. I read that the famous 3D pop artist Charles Fazzino actually created an original painting with you featured in it to auction off for the Andy Roddick Foundation. What's it like to have a painting commissioned especially for you and what did you think when you saw it? It, it, was, it was really a, a little bit surreal to, uh, to see the painting for the first time because it's you know, it's like your entire life for the last eight years all put into a little uh, three-by-two painting. I'm sure it is. But on a different note, I read that you're actually engaged to American fashion model Brooklyn Decker. Tell me how you guys met and what your plans are for the wedding. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I basically stalked her. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I just put on the, uh, the hard pursuit, and she didn't call me back right away, but eventually she did, and... Uh, I was able to uh, take her out to dinner, and it just went from there. And uh, you know, as far as wedding plans, we're we're a little behind, but it's gonna it's gonna be a, a really small affair. You know, it, it'll probably be done before anybody really knows about it, and then the next time I'll just be married. So um, I think that's more our style, and that's probably the route we'll go. How nice! Congratulations to both of you. And as you know, the show is called The Balancing Act. What's a day in the life for Andy Roddick trying to balance it all between career, family, and your busy lifestyle? Well, it's tough. It's almost like uh, you know, you, you you do the best you can. Obviously, my priority is uh, is tennis and, and training and, and and trying to trying to keep that going. Because with without that, I mean, it it makes the rest of it tough. If I'm playing well in tennis and, and I'm out there, it'll bring uh, more exposure to the foundation, et cetera. And I think I understand that. And I think uh, everyone involved uh, with our foundation understands that as well. So, Mrs. Roddick, what website can our viewers go to find out more about donations and future events you have planned? AndyRoddick.com and click charity. It was definitely a pleasure. Thanks for being here and educating us about children in need in our country. We hope to follow up with you in our studio sometime. Right, thank you for having okay. us. Thank you.